Chechi. It's a potential site of the proposed dam to supply Californians with water in the wake of its recent earthquake. It's also in the center of one of America's treasured national parks. Yosemite National Forest is a cornerstone of beauty and biodiversity in the United States. Its amazing plants and animals are unparalleled in any other area in the whole nation, and therefore deserve to be protected from any human intervention. The creation of the dam in the Hetch Hetchy Valley would severely distract from the unique and sacred qualities that the park provides. One of the main appeals of the Yosemite is how beautiful it is in its natural state. By adding a man-made dam to the area, the park would no longer project the special essence. Not only that, but the dam would also generate many tangible effects. There would be a lot more infrastructure that would pop up in the area, including roads, electrical wires, and street signs. These additions would create more pollution and traffic in the area that would otherwise be left untouched by man. Along with the pollution generated initially during the construction process, the roads and electric goal would continue to generate pollution in the long run. More people would travel through the area causing noise and traffic in an otherwise peaceful landscape. There would also be an increase in litter as more people make their way through the park. With regard to the dam and the reservoir itself, John Muir, representative from the Sierra Club, predicts that an unsightly bathtub ring would result, caused by the water's destruction of lichen growth on the canyon walls, which would inevitably be visible at low lake levels. This further degrades the natural beauty of the area. But besides protecting the environment and preserving the biodiversity in Hetch Hetchy Valley, the needs of the people of California still need to be taken into account. After the earthquake, it is clear that California needs an adequate source of water. As preservationists, we are not simply dismissing the fact. In actuality, there are plenty of plenty more sites that, for the dam that would provide California with exactly what it needs without degrading and infringing on the environment. One such site is the Sacramento and San Joaquin rivers that come together at the delta just east of the San Francisco Bay. The delta's watershed makes up about 40%, 45% of the state. Another possible site is the Russian River water system just north of the Bay Area. It is 110 miles long and includes three major reservoirs in its water system. Some other possibilities include the Mokalum River system, water system in central Sierra Nevada, Lake Baresa, a 23 mile long reservoir or local watershed from groundwater or surface water. The appeal of all of these other sources is that they do not require the creation of any new dams or reservoirs, but instead utilize those already in existence. This will help protect the valuable resources in California and keep the Head Touchy Valley free from any human activity. Yosemite National Park should not be sacrificed for convenience when there are so many other options all around. By allowing the dam to be built on what should be federally protected land, the government will be setting a precedent that every part of this earth is open to be exploited by humans. Therefore, the Hetch Hetchy Valley is clearly not the right site for the dam.